hearing more from Kaylee, a talented individual indeed. Um, as promised, it's special guest time. I hope you have the coffee made, the tea made, the glass of vino, whatever it is, tickles the fancy. Sit back and relax. We've got special guest time. Joe Jordan, how are you? Hey, Willie. Thanks for having me on the show. You're very welcome. Oh, so thank you. It's great. I was just listening to Kaylee there. She bring a tear to the glass eye. She would she's indeed. She's just, oh my God, she's just amazing. I love her. I sit and listen to her for hours. Yes. And then the, the, the mummy as well. She's they're all in the, the business line now. Dear. So, uh, Sinead is, Jesus, uh, she sent me an amazing poem tonight, a, a private poem and, um, very inspiring. So she done the first poem, Hold On. So I'd love her to do one for me next week, uh, Let Go. <laughs> That's, That'd be nice. There you go. She's starting it straight away, I'd say. She's start, yeah. sharpening the pencil. I'd say she is. I'd say she is. I'd tell you. I'd say I'd get a private message off her later. That's the job. I tell you, that is one thing she does always fulfil when the requests come in. She always has yeah. something at the end of the week. Fair play. I'd be tuning in every week now. Ah, yes, indeed. I tell you. Um, Blackwater Radio. That's where you heard us. <laughs> but anyway, Joe, um, you're one of the most amazing people that I know, I have to say. Um, oh, Willie, that's great. That's amazing coming from you. Thank you so much. I mean, I suppose familiarity between the two of us, we got kind of yeah. connected through the girls' club, really, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, such an inspiration. Obviously, my mom, when I had met Anne um, from the girls' club, my mom was going through breast cancer and um, it was a tough time and she was always on the end of the phone and as she always says, see is, uh, see is not for cancer, see is for cure. I oh, I remember telling my mum that w- one day, I was, and my mum said, you know what, you're actually right, Joe. And before we knew it, her, her, her five years now have gone and our mission, and thank God, um, see is for cure. So she learnt me a valuable thing, just a phone call, no matter if you're in Australia or if I was walking the Kilimanjaro Mountains and everything, she'd still pick up the phone and be there for you. And obviously, she's she's a cancer sufferer herself and um, the inspiration that she's given to an awful lot of women around and obviously men suffer with breast cancer and all different types. And, you know, there's the boys club as well. Is the boys club or the men's club? Yeah, I'm there, not sure. there is the men's club, I think it's called, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, they But it's just lovely to have somebody on the end of the phone. Yeah. Like I have you now at the end of the phone. Now I've got my cup of tea. I did have my couple of glasses of vino, but I said, you know what, I'll relax. <laughs> and uh, I'll take it easy and I won't be as naughty as I used to be in the housewives. I'll be a good care tonight. That's it, the housewives. I tell you, that was a great show and I suppose, I don't know the other girls, I have to say. Uh, Lisa, I would be familiar with. I have a... Then there was uh, Virginia, Virginia McCarry. She's living in Spain now. She's doing a swimwear line. Roz is in Malahide. And uh, Dr. Botox. <laughs> yes. My best friend. Your best friend. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, it was just five complete different women on five complete different journeys, obviously. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I went for it. They said to me, and Jesus, I must have been mad, but they just said to me, well, well, well I could get to the show, and I guess the madness, the sadness, and the badness, and I gave it all. You sure did. You I, know, yeah. I did. No, you were the, a person that, well, for me personally, I can relate to what you say when you when you speak of hard times you know where what that means you know what I mean yeah and yeah I mean if the show started off with me walking through Ballymun with my two boys I never lost my roots and you know I walked very very hard where I got to today but the neighbours I had in Ballymun the friends I had obviously my family and I lived in some houses where you couldn't knock for a cup of sugar you know it'd, it'd be frowned upon where you'd be able to knock to, you know, um, Mrs. Murphy next door, Mrs. Brown down the road at three in the morning, and you got a, a tea bag, I'll, I'll give it back tomorrow. You know, when you were in the bad time. Yes. But I put a post up on my page today, and I think it'd be public if people want to go onto my page, but uh, 
about 1991. I had Gavin in 1990, and uh, I was three weeks waiting for a flat in Ballymore just to start my own home, my own little bit of independence. My mum and dad supported me all through working and everything. But to start my independence and just to have a little haven for me and Gavin, you know, um, and then Gavin being put to bed at night and you can have your bath and you can walk around in your underwear and you haven't got dad saying, holy Jesus, she's at it again, you know, just <laughs> a bit of freedom. That's it. And, um, they were the longest three weeks of my life and it's very upsetting with the homeless now. There's people on the list 14 years and I actually put on my page today, the Cork Homeless page as well. It's really bad down there as well. So, you know, yeah, the hard times, the hard times I don't think is going to go. Yeah, as you said there, the hard times 16 years ago, kind of no improvement today in the times. Well, no, well, that was actually 25 years ago because it was yeah. 1990 so I mean my son be 25 now in a couple of weeks and I had him and all my name was down but I didn't actually go I, I she went into the Shamble Street and look I really need a place I need a home and draw off your, your number 27 on the list there's people at 10,095 now on lists and you're saying oh my god yeah it's, it's how how do they cope politics I reckon would always keep the hunger <laughs> it doesn't really solve what they're the big boys do, yeah. you know. Yeah. I heard yeah. Um, a, a statement, was it Jim Corr said one time, that the establishment won't put themselves on trial. So, oh, exactly. So that's, that's meant a lot at the time. But anyway, did, yeah. you got through all that and it's... Good I'm on to happier times now. We'll buzz on yeah, to. <laughs> we'll change the page. We'll flick it over. I just had such an eventful week this week. Um crazy week, not working, um, decorating my house, uh, doing an awful lot with the house, uh, coming down, I must say, I'm, I'm any, anyone listening, looking for DIY wall painting, painting them, I'm available, um, 2035, <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then I went to a funeral, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, God, 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 and I'm sitting in the wrong bloody funeral, in the wrong church. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know the way you have the wooden benches? I said, I'm just going to slide my bottom along these benches and just... <laughs> if there was a on. hole, I'd have jumped into it, honestly. Yeah. And I said, no, if I slide, I'm going to knock five people off the bench. I had to sit through the whole ceremony. And <laughs> the other funeral was on the other side of the town. And, you know, ah, sure. It was... It was funny that night, but it wasn't that day. You know, when I look back, I, I say he's looking down at me saying, Asher, that would be Joe. That would be Joe. That could only happen to Joe, you know, so. That's it. I tell you. They, um, and yeah. They, and they probably recognised you. I said, Jeannie, I didn't know she <laughs> And they'd be looking at the condolences. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how does Peggy or Sheila know Joe Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> There you go. And I put for me and Josh, oh, it was just a guy that we knew from a long time ago. He was very good. And right. I was living in Maid and he was he was very good to me. And I just he passed away and I, I thought it was anti owner, but I wasn't. And, but crazy things happen yeah. to crazy people. And that's for sure I am. Definitely. You're definitely And that was the last time I met you um, and your beautiful wife uh, was at the, the fashion show for the... That's right, that was in the Maryborough Hotel for the girls' club. Did you play a part of my husband at one stage when we walked out? I think we... I had a couple of brides that night. Yeah, uh, I think <laughs> a few brides that night. <laughs> no, and be... then myself and Anne Wolverson, obviously, you know, great for Ireland, uh, the equality came in and it was just before we sat and two brides walked out and That's two true. men then walked out. And that just came out of the blue. We just, and me and I grabbed hands and we went out and we kissed them. Two men went out. I don't see them kind of kiss, but it was, it was just so much fun, wasn't yeah, it? that was a great fun night. It was indeed. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's inside your wife and a lovely woman and a great chat with her. And Yeah, she said to pass on her hellos to you, Christine. Oh, give her my love if she's listening. Hi. She'll be listening there in a minute, I'd say. I'm actually in a, a little room here facing the wall. But, but the um yeah, that was a great great buzz about that, wasn't there? Oh yeah, you know? it was just the atmosphere there was just you know, brilliant and the people and for the cause and 
it was just amazing, yeah. you know, so. It was great to see. You have to get a big night for you up and going and. Yeah, we, well, we tried. We try, we try again. We won't give we up. We will try again. We will. We won't we give will. up. But the, um, the reality TV, Joe, is that, is there any more uh, coming down the line for us? Well, as I say, I never say never. And, um, yeah, it's I'll have a great face and a great body at the moment for radio, but I wouldn't have a great face and body at the moment for TV. Um, no. Just at the moment, I mean, I'm in my gym jams and whatever, the makeup's off, the hair's tied up, and, you know, um, yeah. I'm I'm Mummy Joe now. But um, I think you would have changed the mirrors as well. They're, they're telling <laughs> you lies. <laughs> oh, God. But uh, I'd never say never. Um, there was one thing... Um, there was a couple of things that was put to me, and um, I'd really like to give it a go. But I'm actually, I want to start my own business in the next few months. But I'll have to be traveling and, you know, um, Josh is in six classes. And, it's, and it's, it's six classes is a bit of a tough year because you don't know what's going through their minds. Because they're making the confirmation, yeah, great, they're rubbing their hands together for a few bob and... Like, he's an atheist at the moment. It, you have to drag him out of the house for church. Right. <laughs> to go to Mass. But as soon as the confirmation comes, he'd be a born-again Catholic. Ah, that's You know, too. rubbing the hands together for the old few bob and all, you know, the new clover and everything like that. But um, yeah. as well as that, the nerves are setting in for them. And they kind of need that little bit more support. Um, because they're moving on. They're going on another journey. They're going into secondary school. And I know it was a big, big thing for me. Yeah, it's a big... T- I went into Ballymun Comprehensive and, oh, God, I was hearing the doors, you're going to get your head flushed down the toilet and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, it was the best times of my life. I, I'm still in touch with all the girls um, from Ballymun Comprehensive and it's... It was, it was the best days of my life. I know all the scary stories that we hear now and Josh is kind of... So I, I, I'm trying to stay at home an awful lot more and I'd love I'd love to kind of do a documentary on that and that kind of like I've been a mom 25 years I'm still doing the school run Jesus really I know I'd be doing as I tell you I'd be doing it when I'm 95 and I have my beautiful grandson now he came along and it's like two different families like Gavin's 25 Josh is 11 and then Mason B1 my grandson so it's three different so you're going from nappies to school books to aftershave and my uh, son's a chef and cooking and stuff like, holy God, why didn't I have, have them? Yeah. <laughs> a, a set of Irish twins. Have they been done and dusted? Have they been out partying tonight? Yeah, but there's no fun in that. You see, some people are able for that and they picked you out for that. <laughs> see, it's what you get away with. It's, the, it's doing the boat and having the fun. That's it, yeah. You have to have the bit of fun in the middle. Oh, but Jesus, no better no no better woman. She was having the laugh today, a girl around me. And uh, she's been very low. And um you know, even Sinead's poems really inspired me and I could have done one of those today for her and um it wasn't a good time and then as you know last week was all uh, suicide prevention week and the best thing to do is talk. But well, she was very down and very low. And, and you know what? We've all reached that. You know, I yeah, know even Kim Kardashian and um, everybody has reached that. You just, oh my God, she's just that low point in their life. But um, I remember watching the program years ago and I was making her laugh and I was having the crack with her. And um, I was saying to her, she's said I'm on radio tonight and blah, blah, blah. And... Uh, I just started kicking off jokes. Right. So, so um, yeah. can I say it on this? Oh, yeah. It's clean. It's, it's clean. Work, work away. You're fine. But I just, I just came into my head. I remember watching the Vicar of Dibley or whatever. But she says to this one, she says, um, this woman got birth to a baby. But all she got was a head. <laughs> and... But they loved the head. They brought her home, and every year they celebrate the head's birthday. So, uh, and anyway, the head turned eighteen. 
the disasters are here in Britain this time. It's just been so for a pint. So his fourth pint of Guinness, a body popped into the head. Said Jesus. <laughs> so he had another pint of Guinness, and a leg flew out, and another leg flew out. He sounded like a marigold glove. So then he had his third pint and a short, with two arms and a penis popped out. Oh, sure, he was just over the moon. Delighted with himself, ran out screaming, I'm a body, I have a head and everything. Got a slack of a bus. <laughs> the barman said he should have quit while he was ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> that is brilliant. And she said, Joe, I'm just have to wet myself, I have to go. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's just somebody down the other end of the phone just to have the banter with and the laugh with him. You know, talk and... That. Yeah, just to be there and to listen, maybe even as yeah. a good thing for yeah. some people. And that's what I that's what I am, and that's what I put out on the housewives. Really, I, you yeah. know. Yeah, I know you, that you're you are. I'm no airs and graces. I mean, Jesus. I mean, I went around with the ninety nine pence pumps. I mean, you could see at the end of I lifted my foot up, you could see uh, the tiger from Frosty at the end of me covering the soles, the holes of the soles of my shoes, and yeah. I've been there, and you yeah. know, and in the bad times and. Never forget. Yeah, that's what you call keeping it real, as they say. Keeping it real, yeah. But so, uh, have you any yeah. anything planned for Cork coming up soon? Are you heading this way? I haven't. I haven't at the moment. Um, I don't know what's happening with Anne. I must actually give Anne a ring during the week, and uh, I tell you what, I am mad about in Cork. Yeah, I love Timmy from the Overtones. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, I love him. I wonder. I love the overtone. Isn't he doing brilliant? Yeah, absolutely. No. He's doing fabulous. So um, I love to go down to the Opera House when they're playing as well. So I, I actually must go on the Overtones page and see if they're playing. So I'll go down to see Timmy and the lads. Um, we went on the last one night after a gig there. It was a brilliant night and um, stayed friends with them, obviously. And uh, really, really good guys. And um, and obviously we, we were over right beside the Opera House at Anne's birthday party. Were you at Anne's birthday party? No, but I do remember you going to the yeah the Opera House, and we stayed in um, what's it called Haven? Is it an amazing hotel in Cork? Five stars, beautiful hotel, and um, that was a fantastic weekend. And. Right. Uh, I love Cork, and obviously Lisa is Cork mad. Lisa's always down in Cork. That's she's right. always ringing me. Yeah, she gets the train down, so she rings me on her way back all the time or on her way down. And so for the train journey, well, she's more of a Cork woman, I'd say, than she is a Dublin girl. Right. Uh, yeah, I I like to catch up with her again sometime soon. I'm sure uh, you get her on next Sunday night. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we, we'll pull her leg and we'll, we'll, we'll get her on next Sunday night. Work her magic for me, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it's, I will. I no, will. No, fair play. Keep the banter going. That's it. So has anyone sent in any questions or... I'm just... I tell you no, I'll have to have a wee look on Facebook. Facebook is the main... Oh, is it? The main stream of community. It is now. It's amazing how even for people's businesses and how it's grown and... Yeah, I heard someone saying today that even the websites are a waste of time now. That everything is yeah. more direct to Facebook, isn't it? Yeah, you want to make your wonga now, it's Facebook, isn't it? It seems to be. But I tell yeah. you, there's, yeah, like anything, I suppose, I try a bit of Twitter and a bit of Instagram and I get lost along the way with all of them, to be honest. With um, the show coming on, a friend of mine, I said, good luck tonight. And then I'm like... I've just been lost in being a mummy and a decorator and a taxi driver and everything. And um, I'm thinking there, Jesus, I'm saying to myself, I said, I was after having a vino and <laughs> I was really looking forward to Graham Norton because Robert Nero was on the Graham Norton show tonight on New TV Ireland. Oh, because nice. I was actually on a flight with Robert Nero, would you believe it? And I didn't recognise him for the first three hours. And he's sitting beside me. And oh. like he is on, on, on Graham Norton tonight, the cap wouldn't rec- wouldn't be recognised. And I love the film Heat. I love all the Nero stuff. But um, I was saying, oh, Jesus, if William rings me at 10 o'clock, 
I said, I'm going to miss the near rope, but I call him in anyway. I watched it all. Oh, and uh, yes. while Sinead was on, I was listening to both. And uh, I was kind of waiting for him to say, even Graeme Norton. Is Graeme Norton from Cork? He is. He's from down near um, Bandon. Okay, in- I was waiting for him to say, you're yeah, from Ireland. Oh, Jesus, I was on the flight with this great Irish girl, but he didn't. Well, yeah. And anyway, I should always tell him every time. Graeme Norton is from <laughs> in the Shannon. Okay, so okay. Not too far from Kinsale, actually. Down that way. Yeah, but yeah, I've been to Kinsale a few times. I love Coles. Oh, my God, I've never seen such a strip of road with so many pubs. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's. I, I used to stay in a place, Camilla's, a bed and breakfast. And uh, the cathedral at the back of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, that's oh a, amazing. That's a big hill, that one. And that's where Sonia O'Sullivan is from, isn't it? That's right, yep, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and yeah. I love Skibberian. Uh, yeah, nice part of the world. Cove, yeah. I think there's so, a, cove, uh, a Cove connection to Rachel as well from, um, that's Joe on Fair City. Okay. Uh, Rachel Murphy. I think there's a connection to Cove. I know I might be wrong on that, but I think yeah. so. I'm not a soaps person. I find... Watching these standards and Coronation Street and all the soaps, as much as I'd love a part in them, I wouldn't like to come home and watch them. And um, I find them very, yeah. very depressing. And, oh, Jesus. And then yes. people are panicking and you're saying, what, what, where are you going? We're just sitting down. Oh, Jesus, I can't miss these standards. I can't miss this. I can't miss that. And, you know, I wouldn't be a soap person at all I now. I love reality. I love interview shows and stuff like that. So, but I've gone back to gold. I'm after getting the sky box in. So I'm watching oh, all my oldies. Very good. I watch, I love, uh, I'm, I'm addicted to last year's summer wine. Oh, you're my sister. I love all of those. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. So oh, my I have the whole collection, like from Campo right up. I mean, yeah. people didn't even know Russ Abbott and we- stuff. But I think that was one of the longest running shows, I think. Because it started in 73, and it's only finished a couple of years now. That's right, yeah. And So we'll have to make, when we meet, we'll do our, our party piece, Oh Marina. Oh Marina, oh God. Oh, how you? <laughs> <laughs> Would I be the Marina in the housewife? <laughs> what, I'll get my bicycle clips ready. and we'll, oh, as, as Howard, we, you could be Howard. <laughs> Christine running after me with the mop. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. And as for Nora Batty and them socks, oh, she's bringing uh, them back in, I tell you. I'd be rocking them socks fabulous with sweep and brush. Well, I have been all week. Oh, brilliant. No, it's, um, well, it's been great chatting with you, Joe. And fabulous talking to you. And my love to all your listeners. And, um, we lane for Lisa next week. And I'll be tuning in then. I tell you, I would love to have her on for a chat. But so she's so much Cork background, uh, obviously, yeah. you know, and um, Gerald's a Cork man. So where are we laying for that? Yeah, uh, that would be brilliant. That would be fab. So we'll, Okay, if we'll you get a chance to pay us a little bit more, Mary or Francis Black? I will indeed. I t- Francis is oh, I out, out on the Camino Walk this week. And she is first day down of 116 kilometres. Okay, yeah. So that's, yeah, that's a big, she does it for the Rice Foundation, which she is the founder. Yeah, the founder. okay, I might actually, yeah, I might actually head down for that. No, it's, uh, they're in um, Italy on the Camino. Oh, okay, I thought you were down in Cork, sorry. No, sorry. sorry, guys. No, I didn't explain it properly to you, sorry. But, um, yeah, keep in touch, Joe, and... I will, Willie. Okay, we, we'll you get... take care. Thanks for having me, guys, and uh, lots of love, and happy week. You too. Talk to you later, Joe. Bye, Mike. Thanks a million. Bye, bye.